air staff, Sir Charles Portal, sent a message to the Commander-in-Chief, Bomber Command, in which he congratulates not only the air crews, but also the ground personnel, who contributed to the successful conclusion of a series of operations culminating in last night's attack. To quote his own words, this outstanding achievement reflects the greatest credit on everyone concerned. Everyone concerned. Everyone. Behind every activity of the Royal Air Force is the story of women's cooperation. Here, 48 hours ago, at Bomber Command Headquarters, a raid was being planned. Take that down to the traffic room, will you immediately? Yes, sir. Telephonists, messengers, teleprinter operators, the orders pass along a chain staffed by air women. From command headquarters to group headquarters, from group to station, from station to squadron. SIO, operation for the night. GP1562. EP781. Ten aircraft. You get those, Miss Bullard? Yes, sir. GX742. What about GP1562? EP781. What are we deciding on there? Would you get those photographs of the shipbuilding yards out? Okay, right, thank you. You'll find, I think, a decent photograph of the submarine yards there. Mm -hmm. you know, there's a very good one taken the other night, Monty. Oh, that? A bit further along. Oh, that's the Hello? This is the one. That's it. That's, those are the submarine yards. Yes, you can pin by that. Have we got the north point? Yes. Uh, that's it. There. Just there. Yes. Well, chaps, this is your target for tonight. It's the submarine and shipbuilding yards at Bremen. It's, I think some of you have been there before. It's a vitally important target, and it's got to be hit hard. While crews are being briefed, air women are getting their rations ready. Flasks of coffee, biscuits, chocolate, barley sugar, chewing gum, sandwiches. It's going to be a long trip without even a cigarette. 48 uh, double sandwiches, Robinson. All right, flight two to a bag. Right. Flight, all rations checked. Is there anything else? No, that'll be the lot. Last minute instructions. Pick up cameras and report to B-flight. Right, Some are good mechanics, too. And now it's time for the evening meal. The mess rapidly fills up with those who are going off duty and those who are going on duty later on. The wireless operators who will keep watch in the signals room. Well, that's the last one off. Let me know immediately if anything happens. For the rest, once the aircraft has left the station, there is time to relax. These young women have come from all parts of Britain and the Empire. There's a fellowship among them that comes from work done together though their previous occupations were many and varied. The bombers are in the air, but very little is said of the raid that's taking place. They think more than they talk of the distant aircraft and their crew.
reports begin to come in from the aircraft over Germany. Party. That's the first one. Message from the first aircraft, sir. Aircraft P, operating successful. The duty officer chalks up the progress of the raid as reports arrive from each aircraft over the target area. Anything from Arthur uh, Robert yet? Arthur Robert is safe. The intelligence officer pieces together the story of the raid. Tired and hungry though they may be, the crews must be interrogated immediately they return. Then, food. Ah, oh my, those chips you smell good. They sure do. Mm. You leave my chips alone. Get along out of my kitchen. Oh, Come on, Hal. We've been through one about us tonight. Let's get out. Oh, it's messing up, isn't it? Betty, come along here and get this. Oh, there we are. And here is one of the most worthwhile jobs an airwoman can do, to look after those hungry men. Whatever sort of work they undertake, these women are releasing men for other duties. The Women's Auxiliary Air Force is a vital part of the Royal Air Force. They share in the trials and share too in the triumphs of the men. They are proud of their work. We too are proud of it and of them. And in the years to come, they'll be remembered with gratitude. Airwoman, we salute you.